What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are going to be using an amazing Master Ball tier team that features Skelly Dirge and Quack Ball. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. It really goes a long way and it really helps me grow as a content creator. So again, I just want to give a huge shout out to all of my subscribers. Speaking of shout outs, got to give a huge shout out to the team creator for today's video. Clover Bells, thank you so much for sending me this team. I absolutely love it so far. Hopefully we can hop onto that rank ladder and grab some wins with it. But I will be leaving a link down to your channel down in the description below. So you guys better go check them out. He makes awesome teams, awesome videos, and great content. So again, check them out. Link down in the description below. But we can get started here with today's uh, team preview. Getting started with Hydreigon in that top left corner. Hydreigon has been an amazing Pokemon in the meta. Really strong special attacker with decent speed. It's got the Life Orb and Levitate as his item and ability. With Draco Meteor, Dark Pulse, Tailwind, and Protect. Grimstarl over here is our second Pokemon with Prankster and the Babiri Berry. Spirit Break, Light Screen, Reflect, and Sucker Punch. I'm really liking this Grimstarl, but obviously I'd rather have Light Clay instead of the Babiri Berry. But who knows? Babiri Berry might come up clutch in some certain situations. Third Pokemon is going to be King Gambit, and I feel like King Gambit has been super, super strong in the meta at the moment. It's good in Trick Room teams, it's good on non-Trick Room teams, and it's just all around an absolute great Pokemon. It has Defiant as its ability, the Black Glasses as its item, and then it's rocking Iron Head, Kowtow Cleave, Sucker Punch, and Protect, which I think is the best moveset for any King Gambit set. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Skelly Dirge. I love the starter right here. Really cool Pokemon with a great ability unaware. This one's holding the leftovers as its item, and it's got Torch Song, Shadow Ball, Slack Off, and Terror Blast for its four moves. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Quackle Ball. And I feel like this starter is not seen as much as the other two, but it should be seen as much as the other two, considering how strong it is due to its Moxie ability and the Aqua Step move. You get a kill with Aqua Step, you get a speed boost and a free attack boost, and it's pretty much a free Dragon Dance at that turn. It's got the clear amulet as item, aqua step, close combat, ice spinner, which is a really good ice move that destroys terrain, and protect for its four moves. Final Pokemon is going to be our support Amoongus with Regenerator and the Rocky Helmet. It's got Rage Powder, it has Spore, Clear Smog, and Protect for its four moves. Guys, if you want to rent the team for yourself, rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to get some wins with this Skelly Dirge and Quack Ball team. I didn't even realize it is a brand new rank season. I am sitting at zero and zero and we are in the great ball tier. So we got to make another push back to the master tier. But you guys might be wondering why haven't I uploaded the past few days? It's because your boy was on a ski trip or a snowboarding trip with the guys for the weekend. So I missed two days of upload. Sorry about that. But we're back for daily grinds. Hopefully you guys are enjoying all the content. But we can get started here in match number one. We're going up against an Oricorio team with Flamigo. Volcarona, Zoro, Lilligant, and Gardevoir. So it looks like they got some crazy tech going on. Kind of weird. Not Don't really know what to expect. So we're just going to play this one pretty normal. And maybe just go into Grimstarl here. Set of screens, right? Screen seems nice. Screens definitely seem solid. So I am going to go into you as a nice little lead. I might even lead Quackwaball. Or do I lead a Pokemon like Gambit? I definitely want to bring in Gambit. Because I feel like if he brings a Gardevoir and we don't have Gambit, we can pretty much just get steamrolled by the Fairy Pokemon. I could bring in a Pokemon like Hydreigon and just Terrasilize. But I think I'm going to lead to Quackleball. It just seems solid. Volcarona could definitely be a lead, so Quackleball is going to come in here. I'm going to bring Gambit in the back end, and then last but not least, got to bring that Hydreigon. Got to bring that Hydreigon. So we're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. But like I already mentioned, just got back from a nice little snowboarding trip. I actually legit just got back. Drove two hours home, and I'm exhausted. I think I got like three hours of sleep the whole trip. It was awful, but great time at the same time because it was 13 of me and my friends all packed into the house. Yeah, so no no, no sleep. No sleep. We went out every night. It was it, it, it was a mess, but it was a great time. It was definitely some good memories. And it was, I actually went snowboarding for my first time, and I didn't do too bad. Definitely fell down and rolled down the hill a couple times, but started to get the hang of it and started, some, started to shred some hills. So it was a lot of fun. It was definitely a lot of fun. But our opponent's going to lead the Volcarona and the uh, Oricorio, and he might even swap that Pokemon. I don't really know what Oricorio is going to do. It's kind of scaring me. I feel like it's going to set up something. So you know what? I'm just going to go into a Reflect here. I might just Aqua Step, or I could straight up Ice Spinner. Aqua Step's not bad, though. I'm going to Ice Spinner. No, I'm not. I'm going to Aqua Step. Into the Oricorio, just in case this thing swaps or protects or something like that. No, it doesn't. Wow, we could just dumped on the Volcarona. We could just ripped into it, but I, I feel like it has like synergy going on here. He's going to Quiver Dance. We should just ripped into that thing. 
I'm gonna nice I am gonna get a nice little speed boost here, which is gonna be solid. This thing has dancer. So it's gonna quiver dance and then use its move. Oh wow. Wow, that's actually really cool. That's actually really dope. Substitute. Okay. Okay, so we're seeing some cool some cool some cool stuff going on here. Some real cool stuff going on here. We're gonna take off this substitute here. And we're gonna get going from there. Okay. If I had to guess, Volcarona is going to be Focus Ash. So, you know what? I think I might just double down the Volcarona here. Wow, this thing's nasty. This thing's crazy. Oh my god, this thing's wild. This thing's definitely really wild. I think I have to get rid of the Volcarona here. I can straight up sucker punch into this thing. I'm going to get rid of the Volcarona. I'll sucker punch into the next turn. I'm going to double down right into the Volcarona slot. Just in case it's Sash, we're just going to hit it twice. And we'll go from there. Wow, so this thing... I'm kind of confused because I never really used this Pokemon. So it was, does it use dance moves every time somebody uses a dance move? Is that how it works? Because it Quiver Dance and then Aqua Step. Which are both dancing moves. So I guess it does do that. And If I would have known that, why would I have brought in the Quackle Ball? But I didn't really know that. Revelation Dance coming out here. Is that going to kill me? We survived. That is a lovely survival. He's gonna quiver dance up. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Luckily we do have sucker punch, which we're gonna have to send next turn into that uh Oricorio. But this is terrifying. This is honestly terrifying. This thing just keeps moving. Aqua step coming in here. Please be no sash. Okay, it's no sash. No sash is solid. No sash of style. So we take out the Volcarona, but this little bird thing is kind of getting on my nerves here. It is boosted like crazy. I want to see this thing's stats. He's going to Aqua Step here too. Can, is, can we eat this, please? Thank you. Okay, so we eat this. And we're just going to have to go from there. This thing's annoying me, man. Spirit Break's flying, so this will drop special attack. And Sucker Punch should be able to pick up the KO into that. Wow, this is actually wild. This is wild. <laughs> This little bird just dancing around going crazy. <laughs> Dude is going wild. He is going wild. And now he gets the Flamigo. Chill on me, man. Chill on me. <laughs> Let me see his six stats. Oh, no. No. <laughs> we need Sucker Punch. going to be a friend. So we're going to Sucker Punch this thing right here. And if I can, I would like to get off an ice spinner. But I might even just protect you. Actually, no, I'm gonna go for an ice spinner into this thing. I'm gonna go for something. This is wild. This is a little too crazy. Hopefully, he's going for an attack move with Oricorio. Just so I can suck a punch of KO, get rid of that, and then worry about the Flamigo. This is wild. Okay, so Sucker Punch comes through there. We get rid of one. Now, Flamigo's our problem. Flamigo is our big time problem now. This thing is just stat boosted like crazy. He's gonna go for an air slash into Grimson, which I'm all about. I get the ice spinner this thing. And I might be able to pick up the KO here. I'm Moxie boosted. Oh, let's go. Quackle Ball? Quackle Ball? You can have all those stat boosts. Those quiver dances, the dancer ability, the, the uh, what, what's the other ability? The co-star ability? Hey, you're not beating me. I'm just too good at this game. I'm way too good. I'm way too good. We, we can sweep here. We can sweep. Which I think I am going to sweep because Ice Spinner, I'm Moxie Boosted Plus 2. Battle is canceled. Sweep in match number one. Let's get it. What a way to get this season and video started with a 1-0 start. We're hopping into our match number two, and we're going up against a semi trickermish team. It has Gyarados alongside with uh, Cerulege, Me Alcarada, and then Torkoal for Rigoraf and Mousehold. So two Pokemon to set the trick room with the Rigoraf and the Mousehold, and then the other Pokemon are just decent attackers. But then you got the Mousehold. Mousehold is also solid attacking, solid support. How should I go into this? Gyarados does have Intimidate. I do have clear amulet on Quackle Ball, so that wouldn't be too bad to go into Quackle Ball. I actually do really like Quackle Ball here, so I am going to probably lead this Pokemon again. And I might even go in with the Gambit as a lead. Do I Gambit lead, or do I go in with maybe like Amoongus as a lead? Because I could spore Pokemon with Amoongus. Say he wants to pop Trick Room, I can start sporing and kind of rolling after the battle that way. Which I can get I can get after with. So I'm going to go into Amoongus. Um, hmm. Skelly Dirge isn't bad here, especially if he wants to pop Trick Room. And then Gambit? I could go Gambit. What's your, what's your Terra type Gambit? It's gonna be straight dark, so that could be decent, but Torkoal really strong. <laughs> it's really, really strong. Kind of annoying me. Um, 
Hmm. Hydrogon's Terra Steel. I kind of like Gambit a little bit more in this situation. I really do like Gambit. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. Let's look to go back to back here in match number two. But yeah, I feel like uh, Trick Room is going to be definitely very overpowered. So if he wants to pop Trick Room, I might just put him to sleep with Amoongus. I might just put the Frigoraph to sleep with the Amoongus. Unless it's Miyashkarada popping in Trick Room. Then we're looking a little scary. Because I can't put to sleep. It's going to be straight grass type. So Turkle and Frigoraph, do roll out your... Uh, I can definitely see a Protect coming out here, correct? I could 100% see a Protect. I'm going to put the Frigoraph to sleep. And I think I might just... Hmm. Let's pop close combat and figure out. Drop my defense down. That's no problem. That's no problem. I really doubt the Torkoal attacks me here, correct? The Torkoal has to protect and set up Trick Room. Should have Butchall's Torkoal. That's fine. Okay, so Torkoal's going to get the Butchall. Who's going to pop into here? Miyasuke Rai is going to come out here. That's totally fine. As long as I can spoil this, this Frigger up here. Close combat's going to fly. Kill. Chipping up some nice damage. Defense is going to drop, but I don't really see us sitting in like a bad position here. We're gonna spore now. So now that we spored, I feel like Miyashirada now wants to pop the trick room. Correct? It makes the most sense. So I can ice spinner and clear smog into it. That would make the most sense. I would think Miyashirada would be focus ash as well. Or I can follow me and ice it depends. Is is that thing gonna attack me? I think Miyashirada is slightly faster. Oh, a lot faster. I don't want to set up Trick Room. That's my problem. I might sacrifice my, my life for that. For him not setting up Trick Room. It's like, who do we have with Skelly Dirge in the back end? I can... Mmm. 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 I hate this game. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I think we just have to make the right call. I think we just attack. I think we just attack in case he wants to pop Trick Room. No, because we're a player off. Okay, so we're going to die here. We're 1,000% dead. We're dead. He doesn't want to pop trick room. Mm, okay, that's fine. That is fine. I, I guess it's fine. That was my only problem was right there. The so Frigograph's going to be asleep. We're going to pop a nice little Chris Mog. We are going to actually do a decent amount of damage. Moogus chipping up some damage. Moogus chipping up some damage. And then from here, I can go into Gambit, right? Gambit's not bad here. Go Gambit. Hope that Frigograph's asleep one more turn. And then play it out that way. I mean, we have a Moongus here, which isn't bad in Trick Room. I really do like this Pokemon in Trick Room. And then I could just go straight into an Iron Head. And then into... Hmm. I could hard swap if I want to. But I like having a Moongus here. I feel like this turn's not bad. I feel like this turn's not bad. Just swapping here. I'm going to say he's going to be asleep again. And we just get rid of... Uh, we get rid of Miyasuke Rod here, and Frigograph's gonna take a two turn sleep, and then we'll kinda just go from there. I'm gonna swap right into the Skelly Dirge. He's gonna play off into. Or you might be choice. Iron Head's gonna fly. KO you. And Frigograph, I need you to sleep. Just turn. Just please, let's turn. No quick naps. No quick naps. Not allowed. They're not allowed here. Okay, goes for Hyper Voice. Okay, that's fine. That's actually really fine. That's really fine then. That's really, really good. Because I thought I was going to just pop a trick him. Okay, I can deal with that. I can definitely deal with that. Torkoal's going to come back out here. That's looking a little scary. I feel like I just have to like, double down into it. Or I can just get rid of you. And just Shadow Ball into this thing. Yeah, 100%. 100%. We got to get rid of Frigograph. Because we cannot allow this Pokemon to really set up trick him. I feel like Skelly Dirge can pretty much clean up the rest of this battle. And he's just going to Terrasalize. So he's going to Terrasalize. Again, not a big problem because I feel like he's just going to be going to erupt. And we're just going to pick up some KOs here. Hopefully it protects. I really do hope it protects. So Terrasalize comes out here. I probably should have Terrasalized my Gambit. I definitely should have Terrasalized my Gambit. But we do that. Pick up some mean damage. Some mean damage. I want to say bye-bye to Frigoraph. Torkoal's dead next turn. I don't think it kills my Skelly Dirge here. No shot. And it might just erupt. Yeah, it's going to erupt. Let's just still KO my my Gambit. We definitely should have Terrasalize there. That would have been the play. Because if we Terrasalize, we would have been able to eat up that shot. But yeah, Skelly Dirge outspeeds. I can drop a Shadow Ball. But he has one Pokemon left. I have one Pokemon left. We can see how this one wants to play out. But I do have Leftovers on this thing too. So we can just regenerate HP and place one slow. 
Uh, I could. I'm actually going to Terrasilize Amoogus here. Well, it depends on their last Pokemon. Amoogus is going to come out here. Um, bum, 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 and you're going to throw out Mouse Hold. Okay. A little scared of that. I could Rage Powder because I feel like that thing has to attack, right? Or I could Terrasilize, go for a Spore, put you to sleep, and then just... I was going to say Protect. I really want a Shadow Ball, but I can't. I cannot. In case he wants to follow me. Can I just Terror Blast normal? Yeah, it seems like I can. I'm just going to Terror Blast normal. Just in case he wants to go for to follow me. Just in case follow me comes out. But I'm kind of hoping that he Population Bombs into my Amoongus. Because I have the Rocky Helmet. It's a solid second battle. Great second battle. So we're going to Terrasilize our lovely little Amoongus. I'm chilling with that Pokemon. And what's he gonna go for? He's gonna go for a bite. No, he's gonna he has bite. He's gonna take some damage with Rocky Helmet. And Terra Blast is gonna fly. So it's just gonna stay, I guess, normal. And is this KO? Oh no. Free Sash. Not cool at all. Not cool at all. So they put the mouse hold sleep, and I think I can just wrap up this battle, right? Makes the most sense. And he's gonna erupt. I think he's choice into eruption. Which my Pokemon should be able to soak up pretty fine. And we'll go from there. And it's good to know that Moogus is slower. Or faster in this instance. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Leftovers come out here. It's GG. Good game. Great game, kind sir. Great game. Because I'm just going to clear smog, finish off Torkoal, and then I'm just going to start Torch Solomon. Boost my special attack. And is Sun still out? It is not. But they canceled the battle. 2-0 to get us started. Let's hop to the third. Look for a perfect record. Third and final match coming at you guys. We're sitting at 2-0, going up against another Trick Roomish team. They got the Arm Rouge, they got the Torkoal, and Didi, and then Mouse Hole and Nihilate, which is a very common lead. And then last but not least, they are Rock and Sylveon. So I definitely got to bring in a Pokemon to counter up onto the Sylveon. But how should I lead it, considering I think Mouse Hold and, and uh, Annihilate are going to be the lead? I might just want to go Skelly Dirge, right? Skelly Dirge wouldn't be bad here. Same thing, uh, Quack of All wouldn't be too bad here either. But I'm leaning towards Skelly Dirge. I think Skelly Dirge has to be a lead here. It's pretty solid. It can kind of roll off from there. And you don't really Quack Quaval with it, too. Quack Quaval is going to come out here. So we're going to get the double starters going in here for match number three. We're going to bring Amoongus as our third Pokemon just in case he wants to pop Trick Room. We can kind of just spore left and right. And then last but not least, Hydreigon or Gambit? Hydreigon or Gambit? Hydreigon <laughs> or Gambit? Uh, Really tough decision here. I think we might get more value out of a uh, Hydreigon. Hmm. Tough, tough, tough. Actually, I'm going to go Gambit. I like the dark typing up against a lot of these Pokemon. But you are also dark. You know what? No, we're going Hydreigon. <laughs> we are taking Hydreigon. Lock it in. Lock it down. Let's look at the grab ourselves a perfect record for today's video. We're sitting 2-0. But yeah, I think it's going to be a pretty cool lead. I kind of always want to lead the uh, Skelly Dirge and the Quack Ball for today's video. So now that I've got this chance, I, I, just, took I just took my opportunity. I was just like, yo, let's go. Let's lead both of the starters. The duck and the alligator or crocodile, whatever it is. And we're off from there. But Arm Rouge and Mouse Hold's going to come out here. Uh, I guess that's cool. As long as the Mouse Hold's not Focus Ash, I think we should be able to pick up a KO. And then I can just straight up Shadow Ball this thing. Which I'm going to try. Because I already know that it's going to be follow me, trick room, follow me, trick room, follow me, trick room. So we're going to hope that this close combat can KO. It's going to be a huge KO if we can pull it off. This will be this will be top tier, but if mouse holds sashed, that could also be a problem. But a lot of mouse holds aren't sashed, which could be good for us. But I know that the ghost typing move is going has no effect onto the mouse hold. Okay, never mind. He goes for a straight beat up. Okay, so weak armor. He's gonna boost his speed. Who are you taking out? Is the real question. Probably my Quackle Ball. Probably my Quackle Ball. Yeah, this thing's a weak armor kind of guy. I could have swore it was Papa Trick Room. Guess not. Guess you don't want to do that. That's fine, because we'll take it out this next turn. He's going to take out one of my Pokemon. I'm going to take out one of his. I think it's fine. I think it is fine. You can weak armor. Your defense is dropped. It's terrible. We're thriving here. Wow, yo. Wow. You're doing so much damage to your boy. A little bit too much damage to him. A lot a lot of damage to your, to your armors for no reason. A lot of damage. Expanding Force is going to pop out here. Wackle Ball is dead. That's fine. So I misread it. That's, that's totally fine because again, we're just going to take a trade here. I'm going to get rid of your super strong Pokemon. And okay, cool. That's fine. That's fine. And you don't have Trick Room set up, which is 
a plus for us because I feel like his team really thrives off of that trick room. Annihilate might come out here. Uh, I think Hydreigon's got to be a play, or I could even go into a Pokemon like you. It starts sporing. I think Annihilate would be the Pokemon to come out here. I'm going to go into Moongus. So I would like to sport. If he wants to do beat up onto uh, Annihilate, that's totally fine. We'll just uh, sport. Nope, Ndidi's going to come out here. I can deal with Ndidi. I can deal with you, Ndidi. I wish I brought a Hydreigon at this point, but that's totally fine. I wish I could go into a Torch Song. All right, yeah, Torch Song's a play. I'm going to go after, though. It's just two support Pokemon. I'm going to Rage Power this shot. It's got to have Pop Bomb. And it's got to have Pop Bomb. And if it's going to Population Bomb me, that's totally fine because I have the Rocky Helmet. And that should be able to take it out. Expanded Force might not actually come out first, which would suck. Yep, there's the Pop Bomb. Perfect play by us. He's going to die the Rocky Helmet. I love it. I love it. But seeing both of these... uh, Both of these... Wait, why'd Pop Bomb only hit once? Why'd Pop Bomb only hit once? Why did Population Bomb only hit once? You just get really lucky. Unreal. 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 When he pops the Trick Room, uh, do I just start throwing Pokemon to sleep? I mean, we know Torkoal's gonna be the final Pokemon. We already know Torkoal's gonna be the final Pokemon. I'm just gonna keep boosting my special attack. I get to Spore whoever I want. I'm just gonna Spore you. You know, I'm just gonna Spore the DD and I'm just gonna go after the Mouse Hold. That's my play. Why did Population Bomb only hit once? Did he just get a low roll of it? That's a dang shame. I find, I, I made a good play. Rocky Helmet was getting after it. And this thing only hits once. <laughs> it would have KO'd it. It happened to me actually a couple times. It's actually, it's it's very satisfying. So we Torch Song. We put in DD to sleep. And we pick up a KO on that thing. No problem. See you later. Get it on out of here. But now we have to deal with uh, the one and only Torkoal. We know Torkoal's coming out here. We know it's going to be a problem. I am going to terrestrialize my... I, I am going to be a spore slant, uh, spammer here. I'm sorry, guys. I have to. I have to. I have to. I'm just going to terrestrialize my Moogus, put the Torkoal to sleep, take out the Ndidi with this uh, fire move, and then just go from there. So GG's. GG's, correct? Pretty pretty, pretty solid play from us. It's a really solid play from us. Again, Torch Song. Actually, I could Shadow Ball into it. Actually, no. It doesn't even matter. I'm just going to Torch Song for the KO. Just spore you, actually terrestrialize, then spore you, and then go from there. So I feel like the only po only uh, way this person has a way out is going to be protecting the Torkoal here and trying to waste out the turns on to, on the MVD follow me. I mean, that seems like the only way, but I'm just gonna spam spore here, go back to back turns with it. It seems it, it seems like the easy play for the perfect record for today's video. Seems like the easy play, but yo, Amunga's Water Terra is phenomenal. I'm loving the water terror on this Pokemon. I love terrestrialization as a whole. I think it's one of the best uh, mechanics Pokemon has, has used yet. Besides Megas. Megas are just a lot of fun. But terrestrialization really like brings the value out in battles. Like There's just so many different varieties you can do right now. Which is amazing. So that happens. We knew Eruption was doing a crazy amount of damage. We support the Torkoal down. And then Skelly Dirge will dump on Ndidi. Yep, and then we just Shadow Ball. We're plus two. It's 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 game set match. GG. GG. B to the G's. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So Gene's killing it. Killing it. Back from two days? Missed two days of recording? To bring you guys this banger? This banger? We played out of our minds today. Really solid battles for us. Gonna Shadow Ball here. Pick up a perfect record. Game set match. Light work. Light work. Torkoal is still asleep. Hopefully it'll be asleep one more turn. Actually, the Shadow Ball has a chance to KO. I'm not even gonna lie, because we are plus two on special attack. We're sitting here plus two on special attack. This is stab. See how he just rocks. So good. And yeah, it picks up the KO. No problem. 3-0 for today's video. We grab ourselves the perfect record. Solid set of battles for today's video. Went 3-0 and got to showcase this team to its fullest potential. I feel like Skelly Dirge absolutely dominate in today's video. Same thing with Quacko Ball and the rest of the Pokemon. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.